Trump political appointee who was working in the State Department was just sentenced to 70 months in prison for storming the Capitol on January 6 and assaulting a law enforcement officer. His name is Federico Klein. He was arrested March 2021, convicted of eight felonies as well as misdemeanor offenses by the US District Court Judge Trevor McFadden, also a Trump appointee, ooh, Trump on Trump appointee crime. In, in, in July 2023, following a bench trial, McFadden said that Klein's conduct was shocking and egregious and suggested the sentence would have been higher had Klein not already been on home detention for two years and said he was astonished by Klein's behavior on Jan 6. Here's a photo of Federico Klein. Um, and the government had initially sought 10 years in federal prison for Klein, saying that he was, quote, likely motivated by a personal benefit. This is graphic four. They pointed to messages he sent ahead of January 6, um, saying, hell yeah, I'm going, I'm a Trump appointee. As well as the fact that he took time off work at the State Department to volunteer to travel around Vegas to investigate the false claims that Trump campaign was about to make, was making about massive voter fraud. Now, here's a photo of of Klein right here, um, wearing a MAGA hat. And apparently he yelled during one of the assaults in the Lower West Tunnel, you can't stop this. Um, at one point, prosecutors said Klein wedged a riot, police riot shield in between doors, helping to force the doors back open and allowing rioters continue, to continue their assaults on police. Um, but law and order, right? I mean, JR, how many stories do we have of this? This feels like some of the closest to the top we've seen. I didn't realize it was gonna get this close to the top. Of course, there was like, you know, um, not necessarily appointees, but folks that like worked for him or had some level of connection through maybe other, other subordinates in other states or something. Yeah, that's what stuck out mostly with this for me was how much, and he was proud of it. It was promoting us and saying it. And so of course, as he reconfigures his circle of friends, he's probably looking for more people that are this, damn addicted to him where they'll put their lives on the line. And now what he's looking at 60, 70 months in prison on top of or from the two years as well. And I guess he thinks that's a win. I would love to see what he thinks about his loyalty now. Yeah. I think uh, there is a little bit of shot in Florida and seeing somebody who is so confident that they're going to escape justice, get some of that justice. So hopefully we'll see a lot more of that. Yeah, I mean, I just think about Cassidy Hutchinson. Saying that Giuliani, right before he like groped her, was like, "We're gonna win." It's like, oh, first of all, you got a weird way of celebrating that, and also, you didn't win. Hey, thanks for watching that video. We really appreciate it, guys, and we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive—all the things that you don't get from corporate media—and all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us. Become a young Turk.